morning. That's the uh, spatial earth. I'm at Epcot. Look at Spaceship Earth. That's pretty cool. test track. Here it is. Test. 
contents of this data is now being synchronized. off test track. I'm gonna go this time a uh, single rider. Here we go. My favorite car company right there. Wow. So this is the uh, Chevrolet Cruze. My favorite car. Pretty cool. So we're going single rider over here. They put a new car up. Wow. test track right now. We're off to uh, Soren. So apparently everybody wants to go to test track today. The wait time is 120 minutes for the standby. Alright, we're going in the land. It smells literally amazing here. Look, living with the land in Soren. We're gonna go soaring and then we can go on living with the land after. We have another fast pass for that too. Alright, we get to skip the whole line. Wow, look at this. And it's only like 10 o'clock. So there are literally like no lines. Not a single. I'm the only person here basically. Can't wait. There's the logo right there.
soaring non-stop to California. Here we go. going on mission space here it is I have a fast pass here's Buzz Lightyear Wow this is mission space all right I got the less intense one here we go Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang out. nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich and productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. <laughs> of all the forces at work on the land, huge 
control of ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. We discover that many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. For instance, the fluted pumpkin throughout soil conditions of Africa. With its edible seeds and leaves, the pumpkin could be quite sweet to taste. The fruit originated in Mexico or Central America, but is already and produced a healthy crop. Like the sturgeon that yields over this greenhouse is full of some of the best ideas for improving plant yields. Disease can flourish in marginal areas. We're growing lettuce using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls. So this is the uh, flower festival, flower and garden festival. It's a little bit cloudy today, it kind of looks like it's going to rain or something. Can you guys see the rain clouds? I guess it's kind of not the best day to go to Epcot. This is Mexico. That is uh, Norway, right there. We're going on the uh, Maelstrom. That's new, that's one of those walk-up things. This is Germany. We're entering Italy. As you can see, this is Italy. So this is America. This is where we're having lunch. All right guys, this is what I got. So it's a cheese Angus burger with bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, there's a bacon, there's a cheese, and some fries, and I always get this. This is Japan. Japan. We made a Mickey one. Paris. Are you 
I just got a uh, chocolate crepe in France, as you can see. So I rate this a 10 out of 10. So this is France. You can't go to the Eiffel Tower, but there it is. We are entering Canada, and my favorite restaurant here is Le Cellier, which I've been to before, but we don't have reservations this time because it takes like months ahead to get reservations for it. It's a pretty popular place. Canada. That's pretty cool. It's all made out of sand. So this is another walk-up stand. We're going to Club Cool right here. Italy, Greece, Thailand, Japan, all those. Try this one. It's not bad. Check it out. Japan's Coke. It tastes like a Fanta, I guess. That's the uh, Fountain View Starbucks. We're going to Club Cool. Here, try the one from Japan. Yeah, try that one. It's actually pretty good. They have Coca-Cola iPhone cases here. Pretty nice. Universe of Energy. We're going to check out Bill Nye the Science Guy and Ellen DeGeneres. The host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny. Thank <laughs> you. Here's the final Jeopardy answer for you. This is the one source of power that will never run out. Good luck. Judy, we'll start with you. You wrote down nothing. That's correct, Alex, because there is no answer. Well, actually, you're wrong. Let's take a look at your wager. Oh, that's too bad. You risk everything you had, and that means you lose $17,800, and you wind up with nothing. Uh, what is brain power, Alex? You are correct. And your wager? You, too, risk everything, but you double your score to 35600 and that makes you, Ellen, our new Jeopardy! champion. Congratulations! Together, I cross the belongings. Please exit out the back, watching your step. Have a magical day, Epcot. We're going single rider. Your design is now linked to the single ride. The seatbelt check is around the corner. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened in your hands, arms. Wow! Cars. No, I'm kind of more into the Chevy Cruze. No, I don't really, I don't really like this car that much. I like the Cruze better. This is a uh, Lightning McQueen. It's cool. We just went on Soarin' with Michael. We're about to go on this.
All right, we're leaving the park. We're coming back later. So this is uh, Disney Springs. This is where I'm staying. Um, and I'm about to take the bus to Epcot. Michael's gonna meet me later. They have extra magic hours and they're open late. So I'm really excited about riding all the rides with no lines basically. Um, but you know, this is a beautiful resort. It's uh, really worth staying at. Disney Transport, we're going to Epcot. I'm at Epcot. Once again, they're open till 11, so they're open late, and it's for the extra magic hours. Yeah. There's the Epcot ball. Here we go, test track. I'm at the uh, Fountain View Starbucks, as you can see. It's a pretty cool place. I got a tall double chocolate chip frappe, frappuccino. This is amazing. You guys gotta come here and try this here at Epcot. It is amazing. I'm in line for Soren. Here we are. We're leaving Epcot right now. Thank you guys for watching the vlog. Make sure you subscribe and check out tomorrow. We are going to Blizzard Beach tomorrow. And that is Spaceship Earth. It is like, I think 11 p.m. or something. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Blizzard Beach and Hollywood Studios. So make sure you check out that vlog as well.
buy Epcot 